Hey guys, what's going on? It's Lost at 40 here. Hope you're doing well today. It was sunny out earlier, but it is raining like crazy now. That's all right. Anyways, guys, um, I just wanted to like, kind of like, as if anyone cares. Just, this is my channel, and I just wanted to get on here and and speak a little bit. Um, this channel is like for me a lot, like fix myself and engage myself. And so it's I'm gonna be talking about me, like and nobody else. Um, you know, like in the last video, I pro I think I said some things that. I don't even necessarily mean, um, I was still in full on like addiction mode. Um, but I want you guys to know that today I'm like 17 days sober. I haven't even been taking, uh, edibles. I mean, I might've had a few edibles, but I haven't in, in at least a week. No stuff like that. And, you know, and that's tough too to get over because it, it helps you to sleep. So. My sleep hasn't been all that great. I'm sorry, I'm like really like parched. I'm spitting feathers here, guys. Um, just letting you know where I'm at. Things aren't. I'm gonna back off. I said some things in my last video that aren't necessarily true. I take total responsibility for my side of things and. I basically have nothing bad to say about um, the perfume Max and their, and their family. They're, they're perfect. They have no issues. It's me. Like I want to tell you guys that I'm being honest. You guys know I came off Suboxone, but the reality is, is that I got on Suboxone because I was an alcoholic. And it helped me to not drink. That was a stupid thing to do. I could have just got on hand abuse or something like that. But I didn't do that. And so, while on Sabox, and I didn't drink for like 18 months, thinking I was sober somewhat, and it is good that I didn't drink, and I did well. You know, if I don't drink, no matter what, it's good. But, I'm just coming out and saying, like, I never really dealt with all of my character defects, like, my childhood trauma so many different things and my alcoholism and stuff like that and so that like me then jumping into this relationship with this person who just saw me as something that didn't see like the sickness in me like the fact that I really have like, a, like basically I guess like a disease of, like, or whatever that's what they're telling me and um I have all, all these, I have like major regrets actually from my last relationship, like major, major regrets to the point where I could barely deal with it, okay? Um, and it's because of my drinking, I just would sometimes like, I didn't even want to get into it, you know? Some things are just meant to be for me because they're just too personal, but you get the gist. Um... So I'm on day 17, man, with no drinking, and I've been working out. I have, I've lost probably a, a lot of fat, and I don't know. I probably lost like 15 pounds at, at least. You know, I haven't been looked, and it's mostly because, uh, because this not to talk about it too much, because I don't, you know, but the breakup has been my heart's broken. You know. And I kind of did it to, all this to myself, I guess, but like, I'm taking the blame for everything. I'm not putting nothing on this other person. I'm putting it all on me. And I'm taking total responsibility for myself. I haven't been that great of a dude. I mean, I'm a good person on the inside, but because of the drinking, it's like that changes me totally. And I just want to like kind of talk about that, like my drinking and stuff like that. And maybe, like, every day or every other day, as I approach, like, 30 days and 60 days, um, I can talk about some of these things. I don't always want to be about fear and loathing, although right now, I'm sorry, but, you know, things are tough. I'm also positive about a lot of things, I guess. Um, I'm upset about not being able to really talk to this person anymore. 
but it's probably for the best, and I totally wish her the absolute best um, for her future. You know, it's hard to say that, but I totally feel that way. <sighs> I'm truly sorry, like, for failing the failed relationship, and you know, one thing I have to say about it is I treated the kids really good. I treated her kids good and never, ever yelled at them, never even, like, sneered at them, because I really, like, care. I really care about them, you know, and um, I still talk to her son a little bit, because I, I love him, you know, I do, and uh, he says he loves me, too, you know, he's just a kid, um, like, as a friend and stuff like that, so. Um, but I'm doing a lot of things, guys. Like, I'm so determined to change who I am because I'm sick of it. I'm sick of the way I've been acting, the way that I've been, and and I'm not proud of it. And uh, so I'm hitting these meetings hard. I've joined uh, a church group where we're, like, doing devotionals every day. Like, you know, like we're reading a book together, and it's called Praying Like Paul, and it's actually very good, and I have more support, and I'm getting, I'm, I'm just doing the things that I need to do to change myself, because I'm not okay with it, um, this isn't an easy process, this doesn't happen in one week or two weeks, it takes a long time, and, um, so, um, realistically, I, I I'm emotionally unavailable right now, I, I don't want to plan on, uh, personally dating or anything like that because I'm not fit for anyone and um, I'm just working on myself guys and it's uh, it's very hard you know it's a lot harder than I thought it would be I thought it would just be so great you know and I didn't really think it would be so great but maybe that's the way that I talked in the last video um but uh, it's very lonely. Um, and so I'm just grinding. I'm super determined to not drink and to stay sober and to protect the sobriety. Um, that's, that's all I really got right now, I guess. But I'm getting a lot of support in my 12-step program. I have people who are... Um, supporting me. There's a lot of people asking me to play golf and get involved with things. Um, I still play softball like three nights a week. Um, so I'm really keeping myself busy. But I gotta say that now that I'm not drinking, I have so much time on my hands. So um, I need to kind of just settle down and, and stay. Uh, make sure that like the not my sobriety is number one even before work. It's number one. And what's coupled with that is therapy. And and with 12-step, you know, you go over your... You, you actually write down the things that you regret and go over it with your sponsor. And, and it helps you to, like, let go of resentments and regrets because those things are super triggering. Um, you know, my ex and I were starting to talk again and... I hate to bring her up, but I just, I shouldn't even bring that up, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna stop right now with that, because I don't, that's not fair, to talk about someone else when they're not able to, 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 to really, like, defend themselves, or whatever, um, so I'm gonna keep this about me, but, no, I, I'm just, I, I'm, I'm determined, guys, and it's gonna be alright, it's gonna be alright, you're gonna see me turn around. I'm real determined. Um, I got off the Suboxone. I can do this. Um, I want to be a different person. I want to be someone who's not a dry drunk, but a sober, happy, church-going, God-loving uh, person. And uh, I'm getting a lot of people who um, in, in this program are asking me to play golf, pickleball, um, there's even this, old, like, much older, I don't want to say much older, but this nice Italian lady that kind of took a, a liking to me. She's married and, and just was like, you know, Matt, you know, like, just kind of like, she's like, you know, I'll give you my female perspective on things. And 
and so that was very comforting and sometimes she'll you know she just gives everyone hugs and that's nice and there's a lot of like love and support in there man and uh and it's exactly what i need um i can't allow myself to be around alcohol right now and it hurts because i see uh especially in the summer i see people uh out there having fun and and they can do that because they're normal and i just i don't even understand it um but I can't, and that's okay. There are so many things that I love to do that, that that actually drinking screws up, like softball or golf or anything like that. Like I'm not as good when I'm drinking, and um, yeah. So guys, I mean, I'm being as honest as I can. Um, there are certain things I'll leave out, but. Uh, my goal with this is to help myself first um and kind of like this video I can look at myself and go back and be like how's how did that sound you know and because I know my thinking is getting better but it's still not there and I'm learning to relive and um I'm super grateful for that I'm grateful to my higher power I'm grateful to God you know and um I'm just grateful for people who can forgive because I definitely need a lot of forgiveness. And um, I do want to say, like, one thing in my, like, defense with... No, never mind. I, I, I just wanted to basically say that, like, it's not like it was all bad. It's not like, uh, it was all bad. It's not like my whole life has been all bad, but... It would have been a lot better if I would have never, never even let alcohol touch my lips, because I'm just like prone. I'm like genetically prone to that, I guess, and um, and that's my cross to bear or my burden to bear. But guys, I'm staying positive. I'm not gonna like be on here like all sad. Yeah, you're gonna see me like struggle. I'm gonna be real, but I'm emotionally unavailable to women right now, and. I'm doing like, like fixing myself stuff, the therapy, I'm working, I'm grinding, I'm trying to like, um, be a new, better version of me, like the best version that I can be, like Matt 2.0, and, um, and I appreciate you guys, um, so like and subscribe, it helps the algorithm, I hope that I can encourage you in some way, I hope that if you're having an issue with drinking that, you know, maybe this will spark you to want to do something different with your life. I don't know. But, um, I am just being honest with myself and with you. So, I care about all you guys, and I thank you for always supporting me. <sighs> let's, uh, I hope that you'll follow, follow me on this journey, and let's just see where it goes. Um, this is also a godly thing for me, you know, I'm, I'm done with living, like, for the world, I don't have any interest in the world, like, I, I'm in the world, but I don't have any desire to, like, I don't have any desire to, like, for the things, for, I don't know how to explain it, I just want to, like, serve God and do what's right, period, so, all these things are going to be, like, tough for me, but I'm, I'm determined, and, uh, and that's it, so, I'll see you guys tomorrow when it's, like, day 18 or whatever, have a great day, I might even do, um, some stories, I might even start, like, just telling some stories about, like, my life, or this, that, or the other, I might do some reviews, something, I gotta keep myself busy, so that's why I'm, I decided, like, I'll do the channel, I wasn't going to, because I didn't want to offend anyone, but I'm just not going to offend anyone, and I'm not doing this to impress any of you, because that's pretty embarrassing, actually, I'm doing it for, for me, and for my family, and that's it, you know, the, uh, the relationship, unfortunately, is, unless God does something, and he wants us together, it's, it's pretty much a done deal, you know, and that sucks, and it's so hard to not talk to this person, but I, I can't, I guess I can't, you know, um, so that's where I'm at today, guys. Um, I don't always sound so eloquent or perfect, I know, but that's the reality. That's where I'm at today. Um, 
So I hope that you guys are encouraged. I hope you have a great day and I'm not giving up. I got to think of a, a good catchphrase. Um, but anyways, I'm going to be at the gym. I'm going to be doing all kinds of things that I can talk about on a positive level, like softball. And I love to do little proje projects and product reviews. And eventually I'd even like to maybe like somehow like monetize this channel because money has been pretty tough for me. I got to be honest, like, um, I gotta like get my business up and running and, and I've got to do a lot better with it but sobriety comes first I got to protect the sobriety no matter what and as long as I do that everything should fall into place it will fall into place so I thank you guys I'm super grateful to y'all and um, I'll see you on the next one